So I started a company a few years back that led me on a journey where I met some pretty dope founders. Some built billion dollar empires, while others just simply built companies that mattered. My mission now is to discover founders at the beginning of their journey to capture the story as it unfolds. While San Francisco serves as the backdrop for countless startup narratives, I'm curious about what lies behind the backdrop, the untold stories waiting in the shadows. This episode is sponsored by Bolt, an AI-powered web development agent that allows you to prompt, run, and edit and deploy full-stack applications directly from the browser. Now, I live by this quote, which is, it's not about who you know, it's about who knows you, which is why I'd like you to know Osayin. All right, so today we've got Osayin Obegmo. Happy to be here with you, Brian, to talk about Plark and what we do. Yeah, so you, like you've got this hustler mentality, and you've been in the Bay Area like your entire life. So, like, what's it been like being a city outside of San Francisco? Man, it's it's always something kind of crazy, but kind of cool because we call the San Francisco the city. Yeah. So even though I'm from Rich City, which is what we call Richmond, but when it, if you're in our area and you say, "Oh, I'm I'm going to the city, San Francisco." So it's always this big thing, this like, you know, even in locals eyes, but then we get over there and I know all the corners just like, you know, yeah. I'm in the city all the time. Uh, so that little juxtaposition of tech and the high society in, in San Francisco, it's like, I, I never thought it was attainable. Yeah. You know, I just didn't think about it too much. It just became a normal thing when I saw all these buildings all of a sudden start becoming tech companies, all of a sudden, boom, now, Salesforce is what it is, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like the, the biggest building in the city. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you've, you've had a connection to tech, so you eventually got a job in tech doing sales, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but you've always had this ideas of building apps and like, what's what's your current idea? What's Plark? Yeah, Plark is a marketplace for parents to be able to book a space where their kids can play and they can work. Cool, and then we spent a couple weekends ago sitting down actually on a Saturday morning working through building Plark. And uh, do you want to explain that experience? Yeah, that was awesome. So I learned a lot with Bolt I knew and how we can literally prompt it out and build what I want. What we were able to do is build a web app so parents could actually look through listings, find a cool play space where the kids can play and they can work and then book it. Excellent. And you have how much knowledge about coding? I mean, I, I know HTML, CSS, but I'm not going to code anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you're, I know you're familiar with what React is and like we were able to build a full on React app uh, to support this. Yeah. So I do know that, yes, React is a good tool to build an app in. Uh, and from there, I was like, all right, cool. How can I actually do that? Both I knew it actually did it for me. Yeah, amazing. So looking forward to integrating the new integration, which is Stripe, because you don't you can't take payments yet. Yeah, uh, but you can yet. pretty soon. Well, appreciate Bolt on New and helping Osighton build out Plark. Yeah, thank you. Also, if you have a story and you may be an inspiring founder, reach out to me at hello at dinnerpeople.app.